Hey guys, it's Shaq here. Welcome to us. I decided to review today. We're going to be reviewing all the round of 16 races that I didn't uh, cover in the last few weeks. So yeah, I've been gone because I've been focusing on school these last few weeks. So yeah, I do apologize for that. Let's start right away with Darlington, uh, the Sunday 500. Uh, Kevin Harvick ended up winning that race after Chase Hill and Martrex Jr. got into it. Three out of four Joe Gibbs racing drivers have ruined Chase Hill's life. Player Jones doesn't do the same thing. Austin Dillon pulled through with the runner up finish. Uh, I'll talk about Austin Dillon a little bit. What a great round of 16 he had. Um, except that little, he, he was pretty decent at Bristol, but we'll get to that. Uh, Joe Ligano came through with the top three. Air Jones finishing top five after his win last year in the Southern 500. William Byron getting a top five. Bowen finishing in sixth. And Kyle Busch and Kurt Busch, seventh and eighth. Eric Amaral and Clint Boyd run up the top ten. Brad Keselowski uh, finished in 11th. Cole Custer, the rookie, in his first Southern 500, he finishes 12th. Uh, Denny Hamlin in 13th. I think he had like a tire issue, which is why he fell back. Uh, Kenza finishes 14th uh, after he finished top 10 in his first race back in the 42. Uh, and the, um, the real heroes that were uh, that race. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Ryan Newman finishes 15th. McDowell 16th, then Priest, then Johnson 18th. Johnson finished 18th. He got up to second at one point. I think, and I think it was second. Because I think he finished second at stage one at Darlington, but then uh, just collapsed. And yeah, I finished 18th. Uh, Stenhouse gets top 19, and then Chase Sally finishes 20th after he got into it with Jurex. Jurex ended up finishing 22nd. Matt Benedetto. Ended up finishing 21st. Um, not, not, not good at all. Reddick 23rd. Blaney 24th after his issues. Uh, he had to start at the back because of a pre-race penalty. Then the uh, the 12 team was not 10 points. Then they came in with a tire issue on one restart. and It was just a cash off a day for Blaney. Um, Suarez 25th. Busher 26th. Ty Dillon 27th. Uh, Chastain 29th. Christopher Bell, 34th. I think he spun out. I don't know. Uh, but Walls, 38th. Uh, I think he had, like... What happened? Oh, he had transmission issues, and... John Hanemchek had an accident. LaDuly had an accident. Oh, Christopher Bell was running, so he must have just spun out and... Not hit the wall, or... Maybe he came back out. But then again, I don't know. Alright, let's move on to Richmond. So, Kevin Harvick... Coming into Richmond is the only one that's locked in. I mean, I think Denny Hamlin was locked in the points at, <laughs> at this point. And then again, I don't know. Okay, then Brad Keselowski ended up winning Richmond. Truex got second. Um, you know, Truex has been so close so many times to getting another win this year. He's only got one win this year, which came at Martinsville in dominated fashion. He hasn't got, he hasn't got a win since. So... I was disappointed for that night, the 19 team also. I'm sorry about the glare and the, it's the sun, so just ignore that. Uh, Austin Dillon finishes fourth. Should have been a win, though. He had a great car at Richmond. That was amazing for Austin Dillon. Um, Chase Sell, I guess it's a solid top five. Richmond's not one of Chase Sell's best tracks, even though I got him. This is one of his runner finishes. I think that was a good strategy, though. Um, Kyle Busch finishes 6th, then Harvick 7th, Amarola 8th, Bowman and Boyer round up in the top 10, and then uh, 11th was Tyler Reddick, um, 12th, Denny Hamlin, Kurt Busch ended up finishing at 13th, Cole Custer finished 14th, Christopher Bell got up there into 15th, Matt, Bede or not Matt, Bede Bede Matt Kenseth finished 16th, Matt Bedetto then he finished 17th. Ricky Stiles Jr. finished 18th. Uh, Blaney finished 19th. It was just catastrophic. Round of 16 for Blaney. And then, um, I don't know who finished 20th. Uh, Ryan Priest finished 20th. And then Byron, 21st. Jones, 22nd. Newman, 23rd. Chris Busher, 24th. Blank Vidal, 25th. The Walsh, 26th. Corley Joy, 27th. Ty Dillon, 28th. Daniel Swartz, 29th. John Newtech, 30th. Jimmy Johnson, 31st. I think he may have had contact with somebody. That's why he fell back. Yeah, I think he had contact with, uh, what was it, Clint Boer? I think it was Clint Boer. Yeah, that's all of, uh, that's all of Richmond. So, uh, go ahead and, uh, 
now on to Bristol, which was last week's race. The race was round 16. At this point, Harvick and Kozlowski were locked in on wins. Hamo was locked in on points. So there's that. Um, Harvick uh, finished first, and uh, Kyle Busch finished second. Jones uh, finished third. Braddock finished fourth. Uh, or, yeah, I didn't talk about the finish. Harvick and Kyle Busch had the most dominant cars of the day, I'd say. Uh, they, they were switching the lead back and forth, and uh, Kyle Busch was so close. It was like, so close to breaking his wheels, but didn't quite do it. Eric Jones made it interesting at the end. He snuck in there less than a second and got a third place finish. Tyler Reddick got a solid fourth place finish at uh, Bristol. Amarillo gets a top five. Borg gets sixth, and then Chase Elliott finished seventh. A lap down after winning stage one. Chris Buescher and Priest, and then Mike Waddell. All great days with top tens. Uh, Joe Lagano, 11th. Austin Austin Dillon, 12th. Brian Blaney, 13th. Matt Kens, or Brian Blaney, 13th. Or, no, I'll talk about that later. Uh, Matt Kens at 14th. Kurt Busch, 15th. Uh, Alex Bowman, 16th. Jimmy Johnson, 17th. Then Ty Dillon, Debet Dodo, Nemechek, round out the top 20. Denny Hamlin, uh, finished 21st. I... I can't remember what actually what happened. I think I think oh right, he had damage with a contact with Truex. Truex came in for a flat tire. There was issues for tire issues like all throughout the race. And then Truex had a tire issue. Then he came back out and his teammate Denny Hamill just went at the back of him. And it did damage to both of their cars and they both finished outside the top twenty. But Walls twenty second, Cole Custer twenty third, and there's Truex in twenty fourth. Newman finishing twenty fifth, Suarez twenty sixth, uh Christopher Bell got twenty eighth. Well, so was it Brad Kozlowski finished 34th? I can't remember. He was running. But I can't remember what happened to... I can't remember what happened to Brad Kozlowski at all. Um, William Byron finished 38th, and then... Uh, or yeah, he finished 38th because he made contact with somebody he was trying to... Somebody was checking up, trying to get to pit road. I think it was like a Rick Ware car or something. And he made contact uh, with them and then ruined his day. And ruined his chances of advancing. And then Rick Stones Jr. got a last after contact with Jimmy Johnson. So in this race, William Byron, Matt DiBenedetto, Cole Custer, and Ryan Blaney did not advance to the round of 12. Um, William Byron, or Cole Custer and DiBenedetto were not really a surprise at all. They weren't going to be factors. Byron only didn't advance because of contact. But Blaney, he could have easily probably made it to the round of 8. I mean, I'll, I'll say that. He could have easily made it to the round of 8. And uh, disappointing class for Blaney. So, alright, that's it for this episode of Sizer Reviews. Hope you enjoyed and leave a like and subscribe and help the channel grow. And I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow or maybe tomorrow or Monday for whatever such posts. See you guys.